Hi, welcome to I Am Trans News and I'm your host, Novana Beta. Today we're going to be talking about a Malaysian woman, a Malaysian trans woman, who um, says she finally feels safe in Australia after living in Malaysia, Malaysia, Islam. Um, so I'm going to talk about how she's doing and I'm also going to talk about her situation um, Nora Sajat is a millionaire who runs a cosmetic business. Um, due to the circumstances in, in Islam right now, in um, Islam, they're having, the LGBT community is having a lot of major issues, um, especially in places like Malaysia. Officials say that there is increasingly, there are increasing officials so, like, the police are officially starting to crack down more against the community and seeking tougher related laws against them. She was charged earlier this year for attending a 2018 religious event dressed as a woman, dressed in women's clothes and facing, and faces up to three years in jail and, um, or fine for her conviction. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, she also was facing separate charges for obstructing and threatening a public official, which she denies. <clears throat> she said she also faces separate charges for obstructing and threatening. Oh, I said that already. The entrepreneur said Australian officials have kept in consistent communication with her, but she did not reveal that she was traveled that she traveled to the country from Thailand earlier this month. Okay, so basically she came from Thailand. She went from, um, what is the place called? Uh, um, how did it, <laughs> Malaysia. She came from Malaysia and she went to Thailand and went from Thailand to Australia. Okay, the 30, she's 36 years old, so it says the 36 year old says she fled to Thailand earlier this year because she was abused and threatened and humanely and threatened oh and treated in, inhumanely um she was arrested um the authorities stay in september over invalid passport and later released on bail so she was going through a lot of legal issues and physical you know being physically threatened um in malaysia so i completely understand why she would want to leave there early to get to a better situation even though she wanted to really be in Australia I'm sure that Thailand was um is pretty nice I believe that Thailand is pretty accepting they have some pretty accepting places um for trans for trans women you know and you know I'll I'll do respect to Nora but she definitely could pass for someone who um who's you know more of an Asian descent, even though she's from Malaysia. Um so yeah, I just hope her I just hope that she's um doing well in Australia. I'm happy that she's safe. Hopefully we can get some more people out of um Islam and you know specifically out of the state country or whatever that she was in the state probably because i don't really know too much about islam because it's not really my thing but um yeah, hopefully a lot more people are um come from malaysia and uh that are lgbt so that they can be safe because um i don't you know want to have to report on any of them being uh unalived and no one deserves um to be abused and assaulted and treated like they're less lesser than anyone else for just being themselves and existing so let me know what you think about this in the comment below please make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to be alerted to any new content that i post i will be trying to post daily so we're gonna see how that goes and if i can get some viewers because I don't have any viewers yet. So if you do happen to see this and you're my first viewer, then I just want to tell you thank you so much in advance. So again, just leave your comment and subscribe and have a good day, okay?